Hey there, people of the grid. It's uh, Saturday. I'm in a small town, walking up the aisle, the aisle the wrong way, getting some food for the trailer. One second. It's good to be back. Well, that was a bit of a bit of an adventure. Went to the grocery store. That was easy. Just got some stuff for. Um, the trailer to restock. We needed more s'mores material. So we got more marshmallows and chocolate and graham wafers. So we're set for the fire tonight. And then we went over to uh, a place where Tammy's mom and dad were, the Legion. They added a new camera. So they, they're, they've they spent a lot of time there and they just have cameras for security and just to, they do some draws. So they want to make sure everything is tracked and fair. And uh, they're, what kind of cameras are they? They're D-Link devices, my D-Link. 50 30 somethings anyways these devices you can mount the camera this way and then it just swivels around or you can mount it to the ceiling and it swivels around now if you mount it to the ceiling you have to do two things you have to flip the image and you have to mirror it because it's upside down so the software allows for it but oh my gosh to get it to actually do that is is so convoluted and so difficult you see what dealing has done is they've embedded ancient web software into the cameras and into their website and so if you hit their website with anything half decent or current for example safari on my mac or safari on my ipad latest and greatest doesn't work you hit it with the latest and greatest edge from microsoft on the latest windows well i i don't have the latest windows i have windows 10 and i have windows xp neither of those browsers would work uh, chrome wouldn't work firefox wouldn't work there's like one computer that we found where tammy does some work um, for the church that computer can get on, but it couldn't get to the special settings part because we didn't know the uh, the admin password for it. So, and and yeah, so that was so that wasn't going to work either. So what I ended up doing was going on site, uh, which is over in the town of Vulcan. Got on site, hit the router, found all the devices on their network, identified the camera that was in question, saw the other camera uh, directly connected to the camera itself because it has a mini web server built into the camera also ancient software but not that bright not bright enough to validate whether i'm coming in with a browser that it likes or not so it doesn't really care the website that my d-link has set up it actually cares it does a check to see what your browser is and what your operating system is and if it doesn't like it it just rejects you at the door whereas the cameras not that bright they're like come on in if you have the admin password and username and password come on in do whatever you want so i came in flipped and mirrored the image and that ends a two-week or so ordeal of trying to get these stupid cameras configured for Tammy's dad. He's happy. I'm happy. They're all set up. So we wrap that up and then we vaminos back here to the campsite. The stuff you didn't see. So that big pile of wood, that's a, that's almost a truckload. What do they call it? What do they call that? A cord. It's almost a cord of wood or half a cord of wood. Anyways, it's a lot of wood. We unloaded it off the truck, brought it back here. I chopped it all this morning with the help of Samantha, who did some chopping, and Lissa, who carried wood. We got it all cut and nice stacked neatly into that square. That's going to supply us with firewood, hopefully until the end of the summer. We might have to do one more run for firewood for that much, but we'll see. And uh, now we're set. So we did that. And then we had some, some gravel on the other side of the trailer. There was sort of a sort of a hole and our neighbors had spare gravel so i did i think it was four five wheelbarrow fulls of gravel that sammy and i shoveled into the wheelbarrow we dumped it off i didn't get any video of that because while i appreciate that it's fun watching other people work when you're the one doing the work it's just to set up the camera do, i just did the work so now finally at uh, 6 35 p.m it's time to relax we're gonna get supper going on the barbecue. I think we're gonna have a fire because it's looking like a nice night. Oh, that's the other thing we have to do. Golden Boy, the boat right over there. We went out on the lake yesterday and it was awesome, except we didn't have a full tank of gas like I thought we did. We had less than half a tank of gas. So we burned up a fair bit of that. We came back to the shore empty and uh, needed to go fill that up. So popped into the town. $145-ish liter of fuel. 
Golden Boy, the boat is full and ready to go. So we might even go out for a late night boat ride tonight. Tomorrow, I think for sure. So yeah, that's kind of the weekend out here. Nice camping weekend. I think I'm gonna have to mow the grass again. Like, look at that. It's so nice. This is kind of a new experience for me because out of all the camping we've done for so many years, this is our, we had we started in a tent for, that was a couple of years. Then we progressed into a trailer, Tammy and I, a small 23 foot, and then we progressed into this one, the VR1. Um, so we've been camping since like 1996-ish together, which is like 24 years-ish. We do a ton of camping and everywhere we've gone, you book the spot or you go on a spot that's like crown land, which means you don't have to pay. You just go camp and it's all, there's no services. But out of all the camping that we've done, I've never had to mow the lawn at the campsite. Well, this place, because this is our permanent spot or it can be, we can still take the trailer out and we will, but not as much as we used to. Because we're here a lot, we thought we'd lay down some grass, which means I got to mow it and I got to trim it. So it's like I've brought my city work out here but it's okay I actually like mowing the lawn and I'm teaching the kids how to mow too so because anyone can mow the lawn but to do it right and perfect that takes a professional yeah what did you say in there about me I heard you Samantha heard you say you liked mowing the lawn I do yeah, why don't you ever do it at home well I do uh, no Ethan does the lawn yeah but I do sometimes yeah that once a year I've done it this year, like, I think twice. Twice. It's pretty good. How many times have you mowed? I don't mow the lawn. Princess doesn't mow the lawn? Ever. Right. Ever. 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 Just saying. Huh. That little Scar Starbucks coffee mug, it tipped over on our granite countertop at home and it got a crack in it. It was Sammy. So we ordered another one for her, but it wasn't quite broken. It's just got a crack in it. So she decided to uh, to plant. She, I bought her a plant at the uh, the greenhouse. So she's got planty plant face growing in there. And she brought him camping. Isn't that nice? Because she was leaving him at home and Ethan's spending the odd, well, he's spending a fair bit at home because he's working and uh it was his job to water the plant and he's not good at watering plants so sammy brought her out here to make sure it gets water okay we're gonna rest and we're gonna start the barbecue you guys take a break what you got there baby a flower wreath that maria made it's pretty yeah you know she's pretty good yeah she is ethan and his girlfriend were here yesterday they spent the whole day with us it was awesome and uh they went walking and there's these little flowers that uh maria wove into a you know that it's a crown a crown <laughs> there you go thanks well look amelia's got a crown too no i don't no headphones <laughs> Well, hey guys, it's uh, it's already Sunday evening. We just had dinner outside because the weather is so nice. I was mowing the lawn here and I thought I was done. I put the lawnmower away, but I realized I forgot to do just this side of the hill here. So I'm going to go finish that. Yesterday, last night was epic because uh, we had Tammy's brother stop by and uh, Brandy, our sister-in-law and their kids. And so we just had a nice night at the fire pit. We went out on the boat too, did some surfing. Amelia was amazing. She uh, dialed in the surfing and got it. That was her first try yesterday. So uh, she got up, she did the surfing. She got up like so easily, which uh, I found initially it was hard getting up because our our surfboard is is uh, 
it's so buoyant like it just sits on top of the water so to get going and push it down and then get yourself back up it's a there's a technique to it she figured it out right away so yeah it was a good night and uh today we just hung around tammy's mom and dad stopped by we uh, got to spend some time with them which was really nice and uh i think now we're gonna go back to the lake I'm just gonna finish the mowing here and I got a bit of trimming. These guys found out that there is a, what is it, a water trampoline out on the lake? Yeah, and then they have one of those bounce pads where someone sits on one end. And, and somebody jumps, jumps on it and you go flying? Then, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna go check that thing out. Uh, but first I'm gonna finish this. So hope you guys are having a good weekend and uh, staying healthy. Cause that's about all we can try and do, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you have something to say? Hi. <laughs> Are you going to go swimming and jump off the thing? I really want to, yeah. Okay, let's finish the lawn and then we'll go. All right, we're going down the hill. We're going to do this uh, jumping in the lake thing. It's 9 p.m. I'm worried it's going to be cold. It's, it's warm. The water's warm. Yeah, that's yeah. warm. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Well, we'll see. There's only one way to find out, and that's by jumping in the lake. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at the lake, it's like glass. This is the perfect time to go out on the water and do some wakeboarding. But we are going to check out this new trampoline that they've deployed for us and uh, see what that thing's all about. I'm gonna leave the phone here, so we'll have to uh, kind of report how it went, but uh, wish us luck. Stamina. Oh, <laughs> that was fun. It's a little deflated, we need to get more air in it, but. You slide off that end, that bouncy part, where is it right there? That's the part that you're supposed to you're kind supposed of to sit, sit on, on and, and then, then somebody I... jumps. I guess I launched Melissa pretty good, right, <laughs> yeah. Sam? She was like... The thing is, when I try to go sit on it, I just slid right off. It's so slippery, it's yeah. hard to stay on there. Oh, that's fun. And the lake is actually pretty warm. It's very comfortable. All right, let's go up, get warm. We'll call it a night. Yep. Yeah. Miker, Samantha, and Melissa out. out.